In this video, we are exploring GameGenO, a powerful AI model developed by Tencent. Imagine being able to generate entire open-world games complete with characters, environments, actions, and events using the power of artificial intelligence. What if vast landscapes of your favorite video games are not crafted over years, but generated real-time by artificial intelligence? So what exactly is GameGenO? At its core, GameGen O is the first diffusion transformer AI model designed specifically to generate open-world video games. Developed by Tencent, this model focuses on AI-driven game content creation, allowing users to generate characters with unique attributes and behaviors, immersive environments across various styles and genres, generating actions and events that make the game world feel alive through the power of generative AI. In essence, GameGen O is a tool for developers to harness AI in building complex, dynamic game worlds. Now, let's tackle some important questions about GameGen O. The first question is, can we control the character like in a traditional game, or does it create videos that look like gameplay? As of the current capability, GameGen O primarily generates videos that simulate gameplay from open-world games. It's not the same as real-time player control in traditional games. It generates predefined sequences based on prompts and uses AI to generate video content that looks like game footage. But it doesn't create executable game code. The focus is on visual generation rather than game logic. However, the model doesn't just generate static assets. It allows for some level of interactive control. This paper published by developers show some level of interactive control. These are simple things like move left, move right. So it's not really a sophisticated control mechanism. However, in the future, this technology could evolve to allow more direct control. Also, developers can influence the game world in real time. For example, if you prompt the model, generate a medieval knight walking through a dense forest, the model can create that sequence. While it's not a fully playable game engine in the traditional sense, it simulates the gameplay scenarios that can be influenced. So another question is, is this an AI Roblox? Can we generate our games using AI? So before you ask for a public release to start generating your games, this is not a Roblox at the moment. As a core science project and tech demo, it's valuable. It's going to be an enabler for Roblox-like experiences in open world setup. And to be frank, Roblox and this platform have also different focuses. GameGen O is focusing on AI-assisted game development, primarily aimed at game developers and studios looking to use AI for high-quality video game generation. And Roblox is prioritizing community-driven game creation. Roblox designed for general audience, including children and even beginners who want to create games. It's more like a social platform that encourages easy game creation without requiring extensive coding knowledge. I think both approaches are valuable and they have some overlaps, especially considering that Roblox is also looking for ways to leverage AI in their game engine, like everyone else at the moment. I think there are quite a lot of overlaps between these models. So why is GameGen O such a big deal? It represents a significant leap forward in how we approach game development, particularly to open-world game development. Traditional game development involves time-consuming rendering processes and extensive manual labor. GameGen O offers an AI-driven alternative, potentially reducing development time and costs. By harnessing AI, GameGen O could make game creation more accessible and efficient. There is no doubt that these tools will integrate with existing game engines, providing real-time asset generation and adaptive storytelling that responds to players' behavior dynamically. Your actions in the game may create new chapters or maps that differ from the other players' experiences while still maintaining a coherent and meaningful storyline. This ensures that the maps and missions generated are not random, make sense within the overarching narrative, but offering a unique experience to each player with a twist. It also democratizes the development process, enabling smaller teams or even individual creators to build complex, open-world games. It encourages experimentation with game mechanics, environments, and storytelling, which is very interesting. In essence, this model could fundamentally change how video games are developed, 
blurring the lines between creation and simulation. It can be one of the early steps of generating simulated worlds by typing single prompts, and eventually it can evolve to something like prompt your own open world game. We can also look at this with a cross-disciplinary mindset. This model may lead to new breakthroughs in other fields like virtual reality or filmmaking. Imagine directing characters in the simulated worlds we built using AI. To achieve this, they built the first open world video game dataset. They call it all game data. It's extensive data from over a hundred of next generation open world games, employing a data pipeline for efficient sorting, scoring, filtering, and captioning. It sources over 32,000 videos from local game engines and the internet. Each video ranges from several minutes to several hours in length. The dataset features more than 150 next generation games across various genres, including open world RPGs, first-person shooters, racing games, action puzzle games, and more. It covers different perspectives, first-person, third-person, and styles like realistic, eastern traditional, cyberpunk, post-apocalyptic, and western fantasy. After selection process spanning six months and involving multiple human experts and advanced model algorithms, Tencent curated over 4,000 hours of high-quality video clips. Then each segment was particularly annotated by gpt 4 providing a rich source of labeled data for training and validation purposes. Since Game Gen O is trained on data from existing games, questions arise about the use of copyright and intellectual property. Hopefully, these questions will be addressed by developers. Alongside Game Gen O, Tencent also showcased another game engine called Genex. This is again another engine is taking advantage of generative AI. This model, for example, can design a 25 square kilometer city with road networks and everything under 25 minutes compared to the typical multi-day manual process. So what do you think about Game Gen O? Could this be the start of a new era where games are not just played but also created through AI? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hopefully this deep dive was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our fast-growing cyber jungle community. See you next time.